everybody, it's Lauren, and today I'm going to address the question of how to stay healthy on long road trips and while flying and all that jazz. So um, since you're going to be sitting for most of your travel time, you want to try to avoid carbohydrates or sugary snacks as much as possible. Even though when you're kind of sitting in a car forever and it stinks and you don't want to be there, Sugar does make it a little more fun, but at least throughout this challenge, we encourage you um, to do the following. We'd like you to bring a cooler with you. It doesn't have to be a large one and fill it with as many vegetables as you possibly can. You can definitely bring fruits too and make sure that everything's kind of pre-cut um, and you have forks and napkins because you'll want to make sure that you don't have to stop a bunch um, to wipe your hands and things like that. So. Um, but I would definitely start with vegetables, as many as you can stomach um, for the duration of your travels. Then I would bring fruits, and then next I would bring nuts, seeds, and other dried fruits that do not have added sugar in them. Once again, the goal is to avoid a lot of carbohydrates and sugars and things like that, so do your best to eat mostly um, vegetables and fruit, natural fruit, and um nuts and also if you can find a jerky of some sort that does not have a lot of sugar in it which is also a challenge for example perky jerky it's a brand that is known for being healthier that's a really good option as well um other things you can have but are kind of like there's a good better best if the best is vegetables the better is fruits uh, or if the best is vegetables and seeds and nuts then the better is going to be your dried fruits and your energy bites and um, Lara bars, for example. Those are one of the better granola bars you can get, but you only want to have like one a day because they are really high in sugar due to the dates that they're made out of. So um, try to keep it simple. I mean, you can have some bonitos. That's my favorite snack ever. Bonitos, bonitos, bonitos. They are awesome, and if there are certain snacks that you'd like to take on your road trip but you are unsure of, you can definitely ask us. Um, and then ideas for how to stay um, active while you're traveling is, so if you're flying, usually you have about an hour, two hours in the airport before your flight takes off. So I encourage you to spend that time walking around, stretching your legs. Um, not much you can really do on the plane, but You'll want to be moving as much as you can before and after your flight. Um, and if you're driving, whenever you take a stop because of gas or you need to go use the restroom or whatever it might be, um, you'll want to make sure that you can do one of the following. So dress comfortably so that you don't get all sweaty and nasty. Bring deodorant. Um, and then every time you get out of the car, I would suggest doing one of the following things. You can do 20 jumping jacks. You can do 20 squats. Um, you could do a series of stretches. I would do a hamstring stretch, a quad stretch. And then, like, of course, you can move your arms out and in and up and down to kind of stretch out your back and your pecs and your shoulders. Um, and a lot of times, like, if you're in a safe area, you could just go for a little walk around the gas station just to get your legs moving. Um, and as my mother would have suggested, at every mile marker, you could squeeze your glutes and your stomach. That was something she always told us. So you can try that. It gets a little boring after a while, but it's certainly an option. So I hope that gives you a good idea of ways to make your road trip and flying adventures healthier. And we hope you have a great trip. Bye. Howdy, howdy. It's Lauren, and I am here to talk about reaching your calorie goal. So a lot of people who um, are trying to reach a calorie goal so that they can maintain or gain muscle struggle at first because they aren't used to eating as much or as nutritiously. So um, one thing, if you feel like you're reaching your goals aside from the calorie goal we gave you and you feel like you're getting stronger and you're eating enough and you feel good, don't force yourself to eat a billion calories, okay? Um, Gary, on the other hand, he was like really, 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 really skinny. So he had to make himself eat a lot of calories so he could gain muscle. 
Um, but the average person, if you feel okay and you're eating plenty and you feel good, don't stress too much about it. Um, but you don't have to just get protein in chicken breasts or turkey or whatever it might be. Um, so I just, I'm thinking kind of about like looking back on your, um, programs and what everyone's been eating and, um, things that you can eat that will, um, help you get more protein, more bang for your buck. For example, instead of eating something like a tortilla with a meal or something like that, you could have quinoa, um, lentils, beans. Um, those all are really high in protein um, compared to something like a tortilla. Uh, meat and eggs, obviously, eat as much meat and eggs as you want as long as it's lean meat and you don't have an allergy to eggs or something. Um, and then, of course, you can have nuts and seeds. Instead of having like a yolk, like a dip, you'd want something like a hummus because chickpeas do have protein in them as well. Um, and then Greek yogurt and cottage cheese, although we asked you not to eat a ton of this, um, if you feel like dairy isn't an issue for you, as far as weight gain, when I eat dairy, I gain like super fast and I get super sniffly in my nose and I'm not even allergic to it, but it just doesn't, my body doesn't like it. Um, but if you know that you don't have that problem, you can eat more Greek yogurt and more cottage cheese. And we really suggest during a rigorous workout program that you supplement with a protein powder that is healthy for you. And we want you to look at the posts that Gary posted earlier um, in the challenge regarding our thoughts on protein powders, because there's a lot out there and a lot that has a lot of junk in it, like sucralose or just fillers and fake things that you don't need. So um, if you are struggling hitting your calorie goal and you need to get more protein, a big suggestion is to just go on that link right away, find a protein that's going to work for you, and go for it. If that means you need to drink water and protein powder three times a day, do it. See how you feel, because the only way you're going to know that if it helps you get better results is if you try. So um, those are some ideas on how to get more protein, but definitely plan and prepare and do your best to eat um, as much protein and vegetables as you can those are great. And I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, let us know. Thanks.